Missed that one. All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So, what are we doing today? Well, I'm shooting this guy right here. If you remember a while back, Mr. Ethan Manning, Manning and Sons, sent this to the channel uh, to test out and play with and have fun. And this is the CZP01. This is the steel frame, not the aluminum frame, the steel frame. It's a couple differences. It's got a smooth back strap right there, smooth on the front strap right there. Absolutely incredible. Now, this guy right here is stock with exception of the grips. And these really, really, really nice, uh, what do you call this thing? Sights. <laughs> well, anyway, I've always wanted to do a comparison between if you had the option to get everything cajunized, what would it do to the gun? Well, let's take it on over here and find out because I just happen to have a P01 steel frame that has been cajunized. Thanks to Ethan. All right, here we go, stand by. All right, so here we are. We've got a box, I got a firearm. This is mine, this is the P01, and this guy is stock, bone stock, with the exception of my lock grips. And I can't remember who in the world made these, uh, these sights on this thing, but I tell you what, they do come in handy. And if you're half blind like myself, well, you'll be able to see. So, what's in this box right here? Well, let me tell you. It's, uh, this has been a long time coming. Uh, I think that this was in the works many moons ago. Mr. Ethan Manning up there, Manning & Sons, sent this P01. Now, this was the original P01 that actually came out and did the video review. But what we're going to do is I want to do a comparison between a Cajunized and or a Plain Jane P01 or any anything. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do, let's open this guy up and let's see. I'm going to do it with that. Here we go. We'll open it from this direction. So anyway, in about four to six weeks, you will get this guy right here back. All right. So that's the invoice. I don't even know what was done to this guy. We had the defensive carry package, reach reduction kit, type 2, Cajun Gun Works, 4-inch white decal. Oh, Federal Express. And it's easy, P01, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we've got a reach reduction kit, type 2, and defensive package. And see what is in the box. What's in the box? All right, here we go. Well, I hate that. Okay, voila. So you're going to get yourself, it appears to be a Cajun Gun Works sticker. It'll be round. There's another one. Here, it looks like to be all the old parts of plastic drive rod. You've got your drive spring. Comes wrapped up just like this. It's got your uh, gunsmith signature on it. And the single action on this guy. I did talk to the gentleman that did the work on this thing. There's a three millimeter reset, uh, seven pound double action, and a three pound trigger. Very nice. And also, you can look at that hammer right there, or the trigger, and notice that it's a difference. Let's go ahead and put this out of here so we can uh, open this thing up and see what it does. All right, guys, here we are, side by side. Which one would you go with? Well, obviously, you'll probably go with the one that's Cajunized. But is it really worth it? Well, let's find out. So what I've got here is a P01. It's pretty much standard made, uh, with the exception of the grips and the sights. Not a bad little firearm. I am not a big fan and never have been a big fan of the hook trigger from CZ. And when you shoot it, my finger always digs into the trigger. So, you know, it's one of those things. But let me tell you something. Uh, this guy in single action, I'm not even going to try to double action. But in single action, it comes in right at five pounds. So is that horrible? No. Where the differences are is going to be the trigger pull and then... The reset. What a long reset. And the take up is pretty heavy as well. Okay, so what do we do? We get the thing Cajunized. You send it off, you get it back, and here you are. You've got a firearm that has $466 worth of work done to it. Yeah. Okay. So what are you get what are you getting for your four hundred and eighty eight or four hundred and sixty six dollars? Well, you've got the Dawson Precision sights over here, these are tritium field, you get a new hammer, you get a uh, new uh, what do you call that thing? A firing pin, some springs, uh, 85 combat trigger, and a barrel bushing. 
Plus, also, we've gone to a steel drive rod and, and uh, probably adjusted springs. Not a bad thing. What does that do for you? Well, a couple different things. Let's talk about this real quickly. The trigger, for one thing, is, yeah, it's nice. And it's smooth and it feels good on your finger. Unlike this whole hooked up thing right here. It, that just digs into me. But in any case, pull that, a little bit of take up, and the trigger's as smooth as butter. Here's the, here's the beauty, the reset. Ready? Not bad. Not bad at all. So what does that equate to on the trigger scale? Let's just go ahead and find out. Roughly about 3.5 pounds on the trigger pull. Yeah, very nice firearm. Now you've got yourself an elegant, heavy brick. <laughs> and I've quantified that, or I've qualified it because I've carried this thing. I carried it for about a month and a half, two months. Well, this guy right here. And the one thing that I can tell you is that when you're carrying this guy in waistband, you know you are carrying it because it's a hefty thing. Let's just say, compared to, say, the Glock 43X, yeah. But is the Glock as elegant as a CZ? Never. So anyway, guys, that's a side-by-side -side comparison. What does it equate to out in the field? Well, actually, hold on one second. We do have a slide release. They've got an extended slide release there. I didn't even notice that. Wow, that's nice. Hmm. Yeah, there's a big enough difference. $466 worth of difference. Anyway, that's it. A comparison between a Cajunized and an Uncajunized P01. This thing's getting ready to go back up to Manning and Sons. He's going to put it on the market. Uh, if you're interested in taking a look at that, I'm going to put the link down below to Ethan's YouTube channel. And you can go to his YouTube channel and find out all the rest of this information. But in any case, I'm going to load this guy up with some more ammo and take it out and shoot these targets and have some fun. I'm glad I caught that release. That thing is nice. But you got to be careful because that's going to change the profile of any kind of holster that you would be buying. Let's go to Boy32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. Let's go to Boy32. I'm out. Shrapnel there. Damn it.